Hi, Keisha of New World Mind and Spirit, and thank you for joining me for today's video. So this is part two of finding life purpose and life direction in 2023. So we are in a new year, uh, 2023, and definitely we want to really spotlight a, a common thing that happens when we get to January um, of a new year, where people will often uh, take a look at the life the, the uh, year that has come before, the years that have come before, and just be like, yeah, I'm just not really, I know I'm not really in the place that I want to be. I'm not in the direction that I want to be. I just don't know what I'm moving towards, or I do know what I'm moving towards, and I don't want to move towards that. This is not me. It's not where I belong, and I want so much more in life, but I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that looks like. I don't know what I can do. And I just want to know that I'm moving towards my purpose. So uh, this is continuation of the two-part video. So if you haven't seen it, please check out part one um, that was just posted. But moving on, assuming that you did that, we are continuing the uh, journaling exercises that are designed to help you to figure out your life purpose and your life path. So in the previous video, we talked about passions and strengths. Okay. And re recap those basically to definitely check out the video, but the, the, the a recap is basically asking, what are you passionate about? What have you been passionate about since you were a child? And also what are you good at? Okay. So what are you particularly strong at? And everyone is strong at that. But if you're not sure yourself, what have, what have other people complimented you on? Look at past schooling uh, as well, not just your present situation, what people have complimented you on, but in the past, your, your, your teachers, past coaches, past friends, family, lovers, um, people around you, peers, colleagues, what have they complimented you on? What have you gotten good marks on? Like, that's a place to start, okay? So that was the, the uh, passions and strengths. And continue on to two more categories. The next category is lifestyle values, okay? So what do we mean by that? Basically, how do you want to spend most of your life? Like most of your life will often be spent in a certain situation um, more than a, a, another situation, okay? So in a perfect world, I want to ask you this question number one under lifestyle values. In a perfect world, what career would you love to have regardless of any obstacles such as age or availability, okay? So for example, um, if you say, I'd love to be an astronaut, okay, but I can't, okay, stop right there. Then the answer is astronaut. <laughs> so in a perfect world, what would you want to be? Is it an astronaut? Is it a ballerina? Is it, it could be something not even as dramatic as that. It could be, um, you know, something like um, an architect or a real estate agent or um, something else, okay? So I really want you to be honest with yourself and we're not here to then list it and then shoot down all the ways that you can't do it. That's not what we're, that's not the focus of this. That's, that's not the purpose of this exercise. You're simply going to ask, what do you want to be? That's question number one. So question number two is why do you want to be this? Okay, so what about that ultimate career actually draws you? Name as much as possible. Like for example, you might be drawn to being an astronaut, okay? But why do you want to be an astronaut? So this is what I want you to really uh, spend some time sitting with this. There's a reason that you actually want to be an astronaut because it is a feeling that you're actually pursuing, if that makes any sense. So for example, you could sit with that and be like, oh, okay, well, I want to be an astronaut because I consider them to be brave people. I want to feel brave. I want to over push myself to the limits uh, physically, mentally. I want to feel alive. I want to feel invigorated. Or you can say, well, I love science and I want to really be around other people that are always talking about, you know, the uh, latest scientific discoveries or really into pushing boundaries that are what is what are physically possible. OK, so these are reasons that draw you to that. OK, so I want you to list as many as possible, many po as many reasons as possible. So once you've done that, and question number two, OK, so question number one is what do you want to be? Ultimately, number two is why list as many reasons as possible. Number three is I want you to take a look at all of those reasons that you that you're attracted to that job. And I want you to ask yourself, are there any other careers that can give you that feeling 
of what you're seeking. So for the example, if you found that you want to be an astronaut because you like the idea of adventurousness and, and kind of constantly wanting to be stimulated and wanting to push your boundaries physically and also mentally, what other jobs could also give you that feeling? Okay, because there are other jobs. There's more than one way to get a feeling. And we're always wanting to pursue a feeling. Okay. So list down again, take a moment. And I want you to just spend some time with that and list out ways, different, different jobs that can give you the feelings that you are pursuing. Okay. So the question number four under this category is how do you want to spend a lot of your time? Okay, so this is also a good a good question as well. For example, do you like being solitary? Do you like being social? Do you see yourself as being someone who is in charge of other of a team of people? Do you see yourself being someone who is more on a lower level in a hierarchy in the sense that you love you and you work better where someone gives you a task and you just follow it and just carry it out? Or do you want to come up with the task. You want to invent the task. Do you want to, are you a risk taker or do you want to just be comfortable and just know, you know, that if things go bad, you're not, you're not the one who came up with it. So you're fine. <laughs> you know, or do, how do you want your life to look like as far as traveling, you know, and as far as moving around in that? Do you want to travel? Do you not want to move? Okay, do you want to see your family and your dog every day at the end of the day? Or do you like a whole different, like planes and trains and moving about? Okay, these are important. So I want you to spend some time answering that. The final section is world legacy. Okay, so number one, in your opinion, what are the biggest problems facing the world today? Okay, so this probably is something that could come very quickly to you. You don't have to spend a whole lot of time on it because I'm sure it's already very much you're aware of that. Number two is, in your opinion, what are some possible solutions to these problems? Okay, so we're not asking for a Nobel Peace Prize winning, you know, uh, syllabus on how this is going to, simply, what are some solutions to these problems that you think could, could come up, okay? Number three, is there is there anything that you can do right now or in the short term, future, to help? Okay, so spend some time on that. And number four, the last question is, what do you want people to say about you when you're gone? And who and what groups would you like to honor you? And you can certainly um, spend some time to answer that, okay? So all of these questions, from all of these questions can absolutely derive a life purpose, a direction, a path, a pattern. And the thing about it is you can actually derive a life purpose and a pattern from just a single question, from a single section, okay? And know always too that your job and what your your whole purpose sometimes can align. It's really wonderful when they align, but it may not. You may actually decide that, you know, a, a current job that you're at, which is fulfilling a lot of your needs, doesn't isn't fulfilling you for your life purpose and your life direction, but it is useful to have and you decide you want to keep it, that's okay. So decide that you're really find your greater purpose and know that you can work on that and towards that outside of your job. Okay. That you can actually do that separately. This could be, you know, for example, writing a book, volunteering for an organization or growing an organization, developing an organization, for example, could be something you do separately from your job. Not necessarily the same, but it's up to you. You certainly can make your job align with what you actually want to do. Okay. So spend some time with all these questions and really sit with what comes up. It's so important that what comes up, you absolutely can live and are here to live, fulfill and be happy and be on track to what you want in your life. And you can absolutely have it. Okay. I can't emphasize that enough. So again, uh, my name is Keisha Dent. I'm a certified consulting hypnotist and a uh, transformational coach and also the author of Life Change Now. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. If you would like to go deeper and work with me personally to find your life purpose, definitely feel free to reach out to do that. You can reach me out, reach me there. And I definitely invite you to do that. Okay. Thank you so much for this video. We will uh, see you next time. And remember, in order to change your life, you must first change yourself. Be safe and take care.